All right, and welcome back to another exciting edition of... Grok's the new AI thing yeah. from X. Yeah, you're on top of it. Good. I'm, I've heard. Yeah. yeah. He stays on top. There's been a lot of talk about it. <laughs> yeah, really. I hadn't really heard much about it. Just the stuff that, that Elon has posted, you know, saying Grok does this and has a funny little thing because he can be very vulgar. It's it's interesting. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty funny stuff. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow, before we get into it, welcome to the podcast. I'm Sean. That's Brian. What's up, everybody? All right, man. Uh, dude, it's a great day. You having a good day? I'm having a pretty good day. I think it'd be better if people hit that like and subscribe button. That's it, man. You know exactly <laughs> what I'm talking about. Yes, <laughs> please do that. Leave a comment also, because we really like to hear from you. We'd like to have some participation, because we've got some new kids on the block, man. We're up to 32 subscribers now. Woo-hoo! I got us a couple over the weekend. Yeah, right on, man. I think I knew one of them, possibly. <laughs> I doubt it. Really? <laughs> they are much younger than us. Oh, really? Yeah. One of them had a, a, a name I thought that I recognized. I'll mm. talk to you later about it. Yeah. Um. But now that we got that pleasantries out of the way with the liking and subscribing, we were just talking about Grok the AI from X. Correct. Yeah. From the the Elon Corporation and <laughs> his his many many corporations, but uh, speaking of that, Starship has finally going to get its second launch. We thought it was going to be today, which is Friday when we usually record Friday eleven seventeen twenty twenty three. But yeah, tomorrow we 11, should 18. get. Yep. 1118 we should get the second attempt hopefully i hope there's no hang-ups nothing they did have to change an actuator out on one of the um those little flap thingies at the top i forget what they're called <laughs> there is a name uh, for it some kind of stabilizer right yeah you're right yeah it is it's a uh, let's see you know something stabilizer yeah, it's exactly right and it's close enough yeah close enough for our <laughs> viewers um <laughs> So yeah, I'm I'm excited about it, man. I can't wait because they got the new Delu system in to fight, you know, the the fury of those 33 Raptor engines, man. Right. That thing is a beast, dude. I know how you feel about the space program, but that's pretty fucking impressive shit. No, I mean, yeah, it's I, I, I always think tech is cool. It's just you know, it sucks that it's for rich people generally. <laughs> yeah, but I mean. I don't know. There's a lot of companies out there now. Have you seen that? I, I, don't, I don't know. You probably don't keep up with the rocket industry, but uh, there's just a lot of different companies out there that are coming up, doing great things. Um, yeah. It's pretty neat, the different approaches to it as well, because not everybody's trying to copy Elon or anything. You know, everybody's trying to got, got their own innovation, per se, uh, like Rocket Labs, as uh, they 3D printed their rocket. Okay. Um, yeah, it's one of the. I, know that. I am familiar with, not familiar, but I know of Rocket Labs. Yeah, and I believe they reuse too. Uh, they don't land it, but maybe they get it somehow. I'm not entirely sure on who's there. There are some more reusable people out there that are trying to at least copy that. One thing Elon wasn't wrong about is to get the price down. You got to be able to reuse your your uh, equipment. Yeah, yeah, your fleet whatever it is and they've had really good success over there man it's amazing how many flights those uh those uh oh jesus i'm drawing a blank on the small falcons the falcons yeah. are doing named after the millennium falcon by the way yeah yeah uh, there's there's been many milestones happen with a few of them like surpassing the use the number of uses that they've done right um but yeah so saturday Hopefully it's the day we see an, an awesome launch. This one, I believe, is supposed to, if all goes according to plan, that it'll go around the Earth one time for an orbit and then sink itself in the ocean somewhere. I guess in the Atlantic somewhere. Right. Might be the Pacific. I don't know. I think it's the Atlantic, though. 
I don't know. It'd be weird. I think it isn't it usually the Indian Ocean where they you know, drop stuff. You know what? As much as I love rocketry, I have no idea about that. I want to say it is, but I I, I can't be a hundred percent either. Yeah, no idea. They're gonna land at some water somewhere where hopefully nobody's fishing. <laughs> They do put out these orders and stuff to let people know. But, you know, you got that one guy that's not connected, you know, right, fuck yeah. the Internet, fuck having a phone. He's just he's just wants to be out in the middle of nowhere. Boat's falling apart. Yeah. <laughs> and he's just going to be out there fishing one day, man. A fucking rocket lands on his head. All right. It's going to happen. Who knows? But uh, anyway, man, not a lot that I have this week because I didn't really see anything right. that crazy going on. Uh, Newsworthy wise. Well, I mean we all see the the crazy thing that everybody's reporting on but yeah. that's not what we do right right yeah we tend not to talk about that stuff on except rare occasions but uh yeah so i've uh recently we found out that rockstar has announced finally that there is going to be a trailer coming out for red theft auto 6 yep. yep big time game everybody i mean like this is high anticipation level stuff, man. I mean, these kind of games where it's this kind of anticipation doesn't come around often. I would say this is a this is one of the biggest upcoming games. Sure. I don't know, man. I, I, there's a lot of talk about it, but you know, for for me, the the big success of GTA Five was after support, right? That's when everybody oh, yeah. wanted to do RP, right, and have their own RP servers and yeah. and stream all that. They were doing GTA Five because it was no longer supported, right? Right. Um, and it it really felt like it, it came close in Vice City, but like after Vice City, it kind of felt like some of the heart of GTA, of like the original GTA, fell off. And of yeah. course, you can make that argument going from one to three as well. So right. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Yeah, I can't disagree with you about that. It's just what they have done for gaming yeah you know i mean the whole concept of what gta is is spawns many many bigger ideas or people just stealing them you know and making like them st stealing their own idea you know for red dead redemption i mean right. essentially right like well this is a good idea we'll just do this and you know the west throw a western skin on it yeah exactly and uh cyberpunk Dude, Cyberpunk wouldn't exist in the form it does without uh, mm. GTA roots. Cyberpunk yeah. is a reskinned GTA all day long. Yeah. And I have no problem with that because I fucking love the way I just. There is something about a game like GTA 5, 4, even, and, you know, 3. Um, not so much 3, Vice City. Uh, and cyberpunk where you can just drive somewhere for like a while right and there's something to see at the end of that drive it might not be cool it might be very fucking cool you have no idea open desert, right yeah i mean like you really have no idea and it, to me that just there's no loading screens you know you're just going right along going right it's this huge open world and people now, you know, the big buzz world now is everything's open world. Well, that's bullshit because not everything that says it's open world is not open world. If it's not like GTA where you can just walk wherever until you finally just hit the end of what they consider the world. Yeah. You know, uh, if you're not keeping up with something like that or, or expanding on it, like in a way, Starfield would kind of expand on it in that sense, but they did a terrible job with it. They right. could have done a much better job with it. More seamless. Their problem is it's so riddled with menus and in-betweens to yeah. do this, to get here and there, man. I want to, you know, uh, like I should be on a world. That world is like Grand Theft Auto V, right? And then I jump in my ship, seamlessly jump in my ship, fly myself out, right, into space. I fly myself through space. I might can have hyper warp or whatever. I might be going somewhere close by that I don't need it, you know, like uh, impulse speeds or something. Seamlessly drive myself over there to this other planet, and that's like cyberpunk world over there. Boom. Right. I go down in there, and it's just seamless, dude. And I think that's I think that tech's been around. Yeah. Certainly the tech for, I mean, like GTA 5 has that 
I'm sorry, I use five because it's just the most modern, but the, yeah. the, that open world style uh, came about in three, but really yeah. blossomed thereafter with Vice City. That's right. when it really blossomed. And then obviously, yeah, I spent four. many hours just mm. driving in Vice City with yeah. no purpose. Right. And it's fun, dude. And you know what's crazy? Like, and especially now with the, the kind of music they're putting in stuff, uh, I actually enjoy like switching through the radio and just yeah. listening to what they're saying, man. I mean, it just, yeah. the ads were kind of funny. Yeah, man. I, and now they've just gotten where they've added so much. And uh, like Cyberpunk did that with the new um, update, the new expansion, they've got like real people's stuff in here, people that have submitted stuff, um, and it's there now inside that the was game. One of the few complaints I had with Cyberpunk was that you know after so many hours of playing the game, there was nothing new on any of the radio stations. Right. Um, I'm also a fan of, because I've seen where they're getting like internet radio stations kind of mixed in with some of that stuff. And that's a really smart call, in my opinion, because yeah, adds, plugins for yeah, that should have been around a long time. Right. Ago. It adds so much just realism to it because I, you can still use your in game stuff. That's fine. But eventually I'm going to get bored with that. So, you know, pop it over just like I'm really just trolling through the stations trying to find that one channel that might have a song that's worth listening to. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that was a lot of preamble to say that. So we know a trailer's coming out, but some leaked stuff has been coming out throughout time. So where are we at? What do we know, like, at this point? What can we be pretty damn sure this is going to happen, right? Little bits and pieces. Yeah. So the engine, obviously, we expect better weather, lighting, um, volumetrics especially. Well, everything's going to be uh, optimized. Uh, well, not just uh, just optimized for, but there's going to be an optimi optimization setting for the newer video card. So obviously, more ray tracing stuff, more ambient stuff, more uh, occlusion, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. You should expect that, in my opinion, with every up update of a game, like you know, the next version of the game should have the next hardware setting oh right? yeah absolutely um especially one that's been or you know in development as long as this has right and such secrecy and stuff but um that's the euphoria engine in it i think yeah um, i don't know for sure though so obviously yeah they're just building on that it seems like a decent engine yeah seems to run as good as any any others um if not better because, hell, it's got some mileage on it, doesn't it? Yeah. That's one thing about well, I mean, keeping your own engine in-house and stuff like that. I mean, you can really get to the nuts and bolts. Yeah, uh, but at the same time, I've, I've always stated there should be, like, a modular effect for for engines, right? You should yeah. be able to, like, pop out all of your assets and then pop them back in into a new engine. It should, it should be set up in that schema. Yeah. Uh, and it should be done from the bottom up that way but people don't really do that well if, if if epic competed with itself they would be because that's essentially what unreal engine is you know i mean yeah. it is made for people to who don't know how to code you know aren't artists don't know how to use a 3d app uh and it's pretty cool the, what they've done and you want to talk about modular yeah it's it's the capability is there yeah and uh yeah so yeah i mean it does it has its, it has its goods and up good and bad side to it yeah uh but what doesn't right right yeah there's always that uh character <laughs> <laughs> yeah character wise the protagonists are lucia and jason so we have a male and female a dre and supposedly not dr dre from five uh, Sam, Kai, Wyman, Billy, Tit. Yeah, that's right. Tit, Zach, R.B. Shaw. Did they reference Wyman in five? That's why I was, I mean, like, I think something one of these guys was. It sounds familiar. Yeah, right. And, of course, a whole new Dre. That kind of right. thing. Well, I mean, you know, I guess there is a Dre on every corner. <clears throat> but like, I guess like 
I'd like to see Snoop, man. We could get the whole new, uh, new and improved Snoop, clean Snoop. Did you hear about that shit? I did. That was, uh, and, and of course the the little tagline, like I would appreciate or appreciate you know, not everybody bugging me about this, right? Yeah, man. And I don't know, dude. I don't know why it would be a stunt. It just seems like a stunt. Why would a guy who has a guy who who, who rolls blunts on a payroll? That's all in his job. He has sixty like k a year job. And then you come to me and tell me you quit smoking weed. I guess so, man. I guess because it could happen. weed is also a carcinogen, and he is getting up there in years, right? Yeah. Okay. I mean, we still don't know, like what, because, and he would be the only one that would really right. could tell us. <laughs> Look at patient zero. <laughs> um. Anyway, I got off topic there, but um. Okay. That's what we're here for, right? Yeah. The tangent. Gangs. They have new gangs in here uh san for san guardian brothers and the far right militia i like that one i can't wait to see what the far right militia looks like it's gonna be proud boys that's what i'm thinking it's got to be right (laughs) proud boys with a mix of fatigues right yeah i'm thinking so all right tools and items they got you got an auto dialer binoculars immobilizer bypass a cutoff tool, painkillers, a pull cue, trauma kits. And I started seeing like golf driver, yeah. golf putter, golf iron, golf. Uh, it's like an iron golf club and a gold golf club. I'm like, God damn, there, is there a fucking golf game in the damn thing? And it turns it out be, right? like, yeah, like later on, I'll get to like one of the mechanics. And uh, yeah, sure enough. Uh, you also like, got... Uh, USB drive, the crowbar, flashlight, torch for the British folk. Yeah, that's right. Um, Slim Jim uh, for carjacking. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you're not familiar with what that is, it's just basically a long bar. <laughs> yeah. That's very thin. Long, thin bar with a kind of a hook at the bottom. Right. A little cutout piece. Uh, tracker and jammer, uh, a duffel bag. And yeah, cigarettes and a backpack. Yeah, the duffel bag and backpack are kind of like loot. To, apparently, you're gonna be able to keep some loot in there, right? Um, yeah, so both those are like the chick might have a bag, and you might have the backpack, or vice versa. I don't know, or you might have both. Who knows? Yeah. Um, weapons. We got a rocket launcher, an M16, AK-47. They kind of in the same category. Those two, like assault rifles or some baseball right. bat. A polymer pistol, a knife, bolt action sniper. That's the way they described it. I thought that was a, a very tortured way of saying it. It's a sniper well, I rifle. Mean, so there are non bolt action sniper rifles, right? I, well, I meant more just that it's just sniper. But in a video game, it's always bolt action because they want you to pay that price and timing for yeah, sure. sniping. Absolutely, yeah. They don't want to hand you like a five shot clip or something like that, for, right? Uh, for a fifty cal or something. Uh, where was I? Where was I? I damn lost my spot. Uh, okay, uh, Molotov, all the Molotov, yeah, yeah. Spear gun. Is that going to be underwater use? Yeah, maybe? I have to think so, right? So we're going to have some kind of deal Aquatic where we can scenario. go underwater. Yeah, it seems it seems a possibility. Smoke grenade, compact SMG, micro SMG, a polymer pistol, and you already did that one. Uh, flashbang. Oh yeah, I went to the Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> you went up a line. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> uh, you got a hunting sniper, which I guess maybe that uh, will be, um, not bolt action, right? Well, see now maybe. the little picture the guy had, it just like was. To me, it was like a carbine, right? Yeah. So, and it had a, and it just had a scope on it. it had a good hunting scope on it, a big one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, heavy machine gun, uh, a carbine, right? <laughs> and your your old trusty sidekick, the shotgun, the pump action Everybody shotgun. Knows. Yeah. So uh, they're saying holding weapons will be different from GTA Five and more like Red Dead Redemption. So what I've seen. And a lot of this is a lot of borrowing from Red Dead Redemption 2. Right. So 
that's I'm going to jump ahead to one of the mechanics that yeah. kind of goes hand in hand with that. Uh, I, I, I don't necessarily love the option of being able to switch shoulders. I hate not having the option, right? <laughs> uh, especially when you're, you're in a game where stealth may be important, like it commonly is in, in Grand Theft Auto, right? You're yeah. trying to get away from cops all the time, stuff like that. Uh, so if you're trying to shoot from behind something, sometimes you got to switch that shoulder right. to get the angle. Yeah, so, and apparently now we're going to get it. Yeah. Yeah. Way to was that in Red Dead Redemption? I wonder if I never was. played it, so I couldn't tell you. I mean, it's not like they had rocket launchers in the West. Yeah, but I'm, <laughs> I gotta wonder if there was some way, like just moving your rifle from shoulder to shoulder or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's holding weapons, uh, open world activities. Yeah, open world activities, which I mentioned one already. The golf. golf? They got uh, a dice game apparently. Fishing. And everybody's favorite, fishing. Yeah, everybody loves fishing, man. Got to have fishing, right? Got to have that fishing. Got a game without fishing. Yeah, and races. <laughs> yeah. Which, um, what's that? Pretty obvious for, for GTA. Yeah, that, that's just, if that wasn't there, they'd be like, what the fuck? Right. <laughs> uh, van shipments, like bank trucks. Yeah. That's that's basically like the, what that is. It's just not a bank truck. Uh, robberies which apparently is expanding beyond convenience stores now. Right. So we can look forward to that. More places to go to and, and take advantage of. Which, Maybe you'll uh, be able to rob a bank without, like, you know, the cut scenes of the prior games, right? Yeah, which leads us into the enterable buildings, and I wonder right. if we'll be able to rob any of those, which would be really cool. Why don't you list some of those off? Uh, well, I think it'd be real fun to rob a strip club, right? Absolutely, man. <laughs> take one of the chicks with you. Well, I, I was just thinking dollars and drugs, right? Right. One one stop. Yeah. Um, go ahead. No, you go, go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say uh, the Malibu Club. Right, yeah. Um, obviously, jewelry mm -hmm. would be good there. Uh, pawn shop again. Yeah, um, that wouldn't be the great one. That's what I was going to jump in and say, but I don't want right. to jump ahead of you. Uh, that yeah, yeah. pawn shop would be awesome. Yeah, Rob. pick up a guitar, too. Yeah, just I mean, just think about it now. If they were really smart with that one, that one should be, like, you should be able to just get all kinds of crazy shit in there. Right. Good shit, you know, like weapons, um, and some stupid shit, too. And it Just, like, you want a weed whacker. Like, you go and yeah. rob a weed whacker out of the pawn shop, man. <laughs> I, I think that'd be funny as shit. What else we got there? Uh, let's see. Apartments and restaurants. Yeah. Bars and supermarkets. Yeah, that's crazy, right? And a laundry. Yeah. Yeah. And it looks like they will have multiplayer. There's speculation on whether it'll be out of the box multiplayer. Um, and probably like a thirty two player cap, they're thinking. Right. I mean I say they, that's the internet speculators, guys. <laughs> the everybody. That's the the quotation. Everybody. They, yeah. They talk a lot. Yeah, uh, they do. Uh, they have a lot to say. <laughs> Got some collectibles, too. Yeah, man. Um, so, like, I think there's going to be, like, this vintage car collectible thing um, between you. And you mentioned a callback. Maybe it is Wyman. You might be right, because maybe he's the one that's into collectible cars or something. I seem to recall that. Is that, so, yeah. Is that yeah. Sounds now, right. If it's not him, it'll be something like that. But, yeah, you'll share an affinity with one of the characters, I think. Probably. Um, yeah. and then also collectible hats, probably some other gear as well, you know, right. clothing wise stuff. Uh, let's see. The, oh, and there, yeah. And the reason we could say that safely is the list of brands in the game. is right. just ridiculous. And I, I put a note here. You just have to go find that for yourself because it was a ridiculous amount of stuff Expensive. in there, yeah. uh, which is cool. I mean, like there were a lot of brands. I remember, I remember one was like. E. Cola, <laughs> which was pretty funny, right? Because uh, yeah. it made me think of jo uh, uh, Nuke Cola. And I was, because when I first saw it, I thought, oh, are they using their brand thing? And I was like, oh, that's Nuke. No, no, like E. Cola. That's pretty funny. I like it. Yeah. So that was just one that stood out to me. Uh, let's see. Animals. <clears throat> yeah. Take the way. So. Have, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Now, how, uh, obviously, uh, these are supposed to be pets, right? 
I guess there are so. animals for you to take to your abode or whatever. Yeah, but then of course the last one, right? Whales. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe you could like own a, a an aquarium or something. Maybe have like Shamu. Uh, my thing. Okay, I I, I looked over it. I was going to ask, how are you going to have possums in the game without raccoons? But you got raccoons, so. Oh, is it on there? Oh yeah, I see it yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, with skunks, seagulls. Yep. Uh, snake, a uh, lizard, a crayfish, <laughs> right? Yeah, oh, yeah, pet crayfish. Yeah, I had one as a kid. Why not? Why not? For a little bit, anyway. Uh, did you say the alligator? We did, that'd didn't. be pretty cool. Yeah, and a bunch of those kind of lean towards the idea of a, an aquarium, right? Yeah, uh, many, yeah, very much so. Uh, and we also have uh, the skunk ape, which apparently is. In the North American region or something. I don't know what the deal is there. Pigeons, possums, and that's that's the list. There's probably more. They have wading birds on there. Do we say boar? I don't think uh, we boar didn't either. mention that or the leopard frog. Yeah, uh, leopard I frog. Think that's the list, right? Yeah, that is the list. But I, I imagine there's probably maybe some more added to it. Right. Um, and then we have mechanics, which is. You you already alluded to one, which is switching shoulders, right? Walking while in cover, and the ability to go prone. Now that's cool. I'm Both sure. big deal. Yeah, um, loot bags, which uh, I guess goes back to your backpack and your duffel bag. You'll be able right. to loot stuff. Um, ability to drop and pick up weapons. Uh, under fire, which is covering your face with your weapons or bats. Even when crouched. Right. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully it will help out with lethal shots, right? Oh, yeah. When you're under heavy fire. No doubt. Yeah, put that arm up to keep you from... <laughs> a weapon, yeah, that might help. <laughs> bat. Better be a good bat. Um, right. Downed self-suicide or self-revive, which, I, you know, I was like, what? And then the, the note said, like um, Red Dead Redemption 2's horse revive. Yeah, apparently so. Um, you know that is one thing I always hate is when you a game won't let you fast forward through the dying process, right? Yeah. Uh, so that's a big deal to me. Yeah. What was I playing recently? Oh yeah, uh, Batman. I I I, I forget it was Arkham Knight, I think, or something. It was one of the last ones to come on PS4. That might not be saying much because that was a few years ago. Anyway. Yeah. Um. I got killed, and yeah, I had to sit through this bullshit dude laughing at me and shit, and, and I'm like, man, why? I just want to start over. I don't need to see this shit every fucking time. Once is enough. Yeah. Yeah, you know, once, because I want to see it at least once, and that's it. Yeah. Goodbye. I agree completely. So yeah, nice, nice addition. Ability to switch shoulders when aiming. We said that already. Grappling during fist fight. So I guess you can kind of... Lock up with somebody. They're gonna have like a a jujitsu. Oh, that would be cool. There. Yeah, or even some rat dude, some wrestling. Wouldn't that be cool if you could go like in the Malibu club and there's a ring in there, <laughs> and you can just go in there and wrestle people, man? That'd be awesome, <laughs> no doubt. Uh, where was I? Uh, buddy comms. Yeah, between Jason and Lucia. Yeah. Yeah, buddy ping. Ping. I guess that's like finding where they're at and shit. Right. Cover mode, shooting from the car window. Cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, eagle eye system to highlight items of interest, which I like because sometimes I miss shit. Yeah, and that's, uh, you know, they mentioned RD2. R, uh, RD, RD, RD2. R2. R2. Yeah. <laughs> that guy. Yeah, that guy behind you. Um, but, uh, to me, it really, uh, I kind of remember that from Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Right. More so than, you know, before that. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot, but granted that Batman game has something similar that we were right. just talking about. Uh, you can focus in on stuff. Let's see. Uh, oh, this one's pretty cool. The weight and muscle system, which is kind of right. an unconfirmed thing, but, um, there's been a, a possible event called multi gym that might be in, you know, some of this stuff they, that might've been seen can easily get pulled or augmented and stuff. So we may never see it again, thinking we're going to get something. Um, right. but they noticed that, 
uh, was it Jason? The guy's name? Yeah, Jason was yeah. like skinny in some shots and then like really bulked up in others. Uh, yeah. I don't know if that would be down to just you putting a character differently or something, but I, 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 I guess they're assuming it's just the same playthrough, but he just looks different or something. Well, I do remember in five, you, you could hit up the gym and oh, yeah. you could uh, build up your muscle and there were events like that. So it's probably an expansion of that. Ah, cool. Um, and maybe they've added, like, I, I don't think you ever got ripped or anything. That would right? be cool, you, wouldn't it? Come out of there like, oh, <laughs> yeah. But it would and have to take you forever. About. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. Put Arnold in the game, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, we want to bomb you up. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Uh, lost my spot again. Interactions, Interactions. Yeah, yeah, with objects, people, carry bodies. That seems very Which makes um, me think there's cyberpunk. Be, uh, yeah, some some alert system like cyberpunk. Yeah, it'd be cool if you could dump them in a box and hide them yeah. from people. Uh, rob, threaten, and talk with NPCs during robberies. I love it, man. This is the kind of realism you add to it. I mean, don't get me wrong, guys. I get, like, how this can be possibly corrupting our youth and making them run in the streets and do this kind of crazy shit, but it's still cool that you can do it in a video game where people who have a head on their shoulders can just enjoy it at the comfort of their own home rather than being a social misfit and wreaking anarchy on society. Well, generally it doesn't, right? We, we've we kind of learned that and established that violent video games don't cause violence. It's the persona yeah. that does it. Oh, yeah. And how you're exposed to those communities of anger and incel and all that stuff. Yeah, and, I, and hopefully you have a decent parent re ready to smack your ass if you think about doing something stupid. <laughs> right. I suspect that many needed to be good smacking in the last 15 years that didn't get it. <laughs> that's just my guess but anyway um so you can pick up items like beer bottles and cans and bricks and stuff so sounds pretty cool yeah man it's uh it's a whole lot of stuff i'm not I, i'm just scratching the surface and like i right. said it's some of that stuff may be in there and some of it may get pulled you know a lot of a lot of times that happens they just don't like and what the mechanics going. Sometimes you know going. it'll get pulled and put it into like a later update yep. or an expansion or whatever. So. Yeah, because yeah, like say uh, I don't know the multi gym thing. Right. Let's say it didn't work out for them. It didn't exactly get the way they wanted, but it was close. It just didn't make launch. You know, yeah. just wait till next time. Get it down the road, man. Because these mm -hmm. guys, like, how long was this? Because didn't uh, let's see, five just went to ten. This ten years old, didn't it? Didn't it just go ten years today so, or yeah. yesterday? Just recently. Yeah, it was very recently. Uh, so, I don't know how long ago they stopped support. Do you know? Uh, wow. Yeah, it's forever. <laughs> a forever. long time. So, yeah, I mean, but do you figure there was probably support for a good two or three years? Right. Easily. Um, so, there's room for growth. And, yeah. it's, you know, all new kinds of things. As long as they stay away from microtransactions and shit like that, dude. You know. We'll see. I will support them because I, I've always liked the idea of Grand Theft Auto. It really is. Speaking thing. of microtransactions, this is not the thing I was mentioned to you earlier oh, that yeah? I wanted to bring up, but it is something I read earlier. Oh, yeah. Uh, Let's hear it. Apparently, they're going to start age restriction on Fortnite. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I heard something about that on Reddit. Still haven't checked it out, but that's an interesting concept. So they're ready to kill their cash cow, huh? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Their numbers are going to... Yeah, no shit. I mean, literally, the only people playing Fortnite are kids. Right. Um, wow. That's amazing. And, yeah. But I have seen some stupid shit in my time. Uh, the thing that I was going to bring up is another stupid shit. Asus. Oh, you God. may have heard about this. Had a had a big faux pas. No, I they, haven't. Uh, they did a you know home of the republic of gamers oh, gamer yeah. rog one of the best motherboards blah 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 yeah i got my rock they did a, <laughs> evangelion or gellion if you prefer the hard g uh themed motherboard and they misspelled evangelion <gasps> bum, bum, bum. boy so apparently they didn't have a nerd on oversight that you know 
pays attention to that kind of stuff. It shipped. And I don't know what the fix is. They, they've apparently got a, a fix for it now. Uh, but, I mean, wow. like, anything more than a sticker is just like, it's a mug for dude. What do you think? Yeah, I mean. Are you going to rip it? you going to not install it and wait for the fix or what? So. I don't know. So is it themed out and have, like, pretty pictures on it and shit like that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, as far as I can tell, it's uh, colored out. And uh, it it says obviously Evangelion on it, <laughs> um, but I don't think it really had like the the angels or the mechs or any of that stuff in it. Yeah, uh, I just don't know how I feel about that shit, man. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like you know, you can see inside your cases now. Right. It didn't used to be that way, but you can, and I get you want to have it looking nice. But I just don't know about these video cards with, like, anime characters on them. I've seen some pink video cards, you know, with anime stuff, like Hello Kitty video cards. Um, I just don't know. I mean, it, I guess they got to cater. They must be catering to somebody, because surely they wouldn't make it for nothing. Yeah, I mean, well, there are people out there that, that want a Hello Kitty-themed computer or, or whatever, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you, yeah obviously the market is good enough and they go for franchises that are popular enough. Yeah. I mean, it takes all kinds to make the world go around. It's just not my bag. So there's more power to them. They can have right. it. It's not, it's not fucking hurting me in the slightest. Yeah. I just think it's a little, I don't know. Goofy. Gaudy. Silly. Gaudy more than anything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What is, so is it, that was the only thing you had? Anything else you want to talk about? Uh, that was really it. Uh, there was some news about uh, supposedly, um, they were going to allow you to opt out of being at Microsoft 11. Oh, uh, really? 11. Yeah. And some other stuff that they've been forced to by antitrust laws and whatnot. Wow. Yeah. It wouldn't be the first time, huh? Cause like, right. Yeah. They've, they've had to do special versions of windows for Europeans for a while now, like the N version. Of Windows, you know, when will they learn? When will they learn? I'm sorry, man. I've gone away from the white screen and now I'm all dark. Yeah, I saw you. I was like, I was like, he just closed his, his yeah. minimized his browser. I totally did that. It's all good. Uh, nothing special going on with me. You know, we Here can we just kind of start wrapping it up. Nothing special going on with me. I am still drinking the water at Deer Park. That's good water. Right? Anybody remember that commercial? Hit it up. I don't. Comment. When I was living in Florida, dude. So the reason I'm drinking this water, <clears throat> tell you a little story. I used to live in Florida during the summers when I visited my dad back when I had a dad. Who cared? <gasps> no. Um, this is spring water from Florida. There's four springs in Florida that they get this water from. And I remember as a kid, that they would have commercials for this water. And I didn't really any, know of any others. Maybe like Avion would be the only one I knew of. And Naive they, spelled backwards. Yeah, Naive spelled backwards. And I just remember the guy, the commercial, it just had the weirdest saying, Deer Park, that's good water. That was the saying. And I was like, Deer Park, that's good water. That's such a really weird turn of phrase. <laughs> but it stuck with me my whole life. So when I go to buy water the other day, I see Deer Park. And I'm thinking, now I have looked at waters recently, and I got a bit of a potassium issue that I have to keep kind of like an eye on. I noticed right. there's potassium bitrate in all this fucking water. Hmm. Just about all of them. Um, except, obviously, the spring water. And it's right. for it, what I've noticed is like for electrolytes. That's what they all say. Um, so, yeah, this stuff does not have that shit thankfully and it's just straight up spring water so deer park i, I think water. i remember drinking deer park because of that because it didn't have all the, the it had stick. some other stuff you know obviously yeah. you're going to have minerals in spring water but it didn't have that additive stuff right yeah and man you know i used to stay away from water because i just didn't like the taste of it and now i don't even give a fuck i don't it it's just whatever to me it's just wet it quenches my thirst 
Um, this well, we had that conversation, didn't we? It was like, it, well, it's not water because water is not supposed to have a taste or whatever you were tasting. Right. Was well, and the I was iron and the the shit or... at the time too, which is pure, yeah. up salt, you know, straight up salt water. Right. Um, so yeah, I mean, like I drink this shit and it's just like, whatever. Yeah. I thought I was going to put up more of a fuss, <laughs> but then I know me, dude. Like when I stick my mind to something. And like, if I've decided that that's what I'm going to do, it's like fucking dog with the bone, man. Right. Uh, on it. Sometimes a bit obsessive, I think, you know, if I'm honest with myself, which I usually am, ultimately, uh, I can take things too far for sure. <laughs> like I've been eating the same shit, you know, I'll eat the same thing you eat every shit? day. It's so good. <laughs> the second time around, I just got to tell you, it's that much better. I got. I'm recycling, man. They're trying to encourage that shit. You know, <laughs> fuck. I got to buckle, tighten my belt. The inflation and shit. What are you gonna yeah. do? Got to eat the shit. I've been eating <clears throat> shit my whole life. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, fuck, man. That was pretty good. Uh, little GTA Six, getting Break ready down. for. Yeah, I wonder. So we'll see this trailer, right? Uh, I think there is a date now. I want to say it's like. The, 10th or something like that but don't hold me to it I, i'm not yeah. positive it's early december is when it's supposed to come out and i wonder from when we see that trailer when we'll actually have the game in our hot little hands wouldn't it be wild if they pulled the fuck you to everybody and put it out for this christmas season or would it be already out nah would it already be out that's what yeah, i wonder because i'm definitely already be out because i'm saying if it's not out for this christmas season and you're saying it won't be then it would be out next christmas right that's what I would be imagining. Or, you know, mm -hmm. the, some some companies go for a summer release, right? So Could it's be. a possibility, but that's a really short time frame, in my opinion. We yeah. don't know how far they are, but it was weird. Obviously, if they're just now dropping a trailer. Yeah, true. It was weird for me to find out that Starfield had been ready for a year. I mean, right. That's crazy to sit on a game that long. But was it really? Right. Yeah. We we saw what happened with Starfield. It had all these huge numbers, and then everybody was like, "I'm done." Yeah, dude, I didn't last long at all. I mean, it was just like, yeah, I wanted it to be so much more than it was, and I kind of want to revisit it later. I think I probably will to see like what's changed. Yeah. But uh, that's gonna be much later. It'll be a while. Right. I think I might give it a year to see what happens. Hopefully, it'll still be on the uh, Microsoft deal, and I want to buy it maybe who knows or or even worse because we already know right the expansions you will have to buy mm -hmm. so fuck that's it, what I'm i was out. thinking is yeah, like they'll I'm drop out. an expansion and <laughs> forget yeah. about it unless unless i play some kind of <clears throat> version we uh we may never know yep jolly rogers or nothing that's right our matey <laughs> so that's about that and Brian, thanks you so much for joining us. I thank you so much for joining us. And as always, be excellent to each other. We hope that you come back next week. I feel a little Doctor Who in the air. I don't think Brian's going to make it unless we do like an early recording in the week. So we'll just have to see what the hell happens and I come up with. Because I may be flying solo again. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um. No, I'll probably be able to do it. Just Thursday is going to be really taxing for me because I, I promised my family I'd do Thanksgiving. Yeah, <laughs> like an idiot. Yeah, well, we all I got roped into it too because I told y'all I wasn't going to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It happens. Yeah. What do you do? It's going to be yeah. good food, right? Hopefully. Right. So yeah. enjoy the food, tolerate the company. Uh, and in fact, yeah, we'll we're not going to see you guys. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to see you guys. And for all you North Americans, happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy your family and your friends. Well, just enjoy your family. You probably aren't going to have any friends there. You might. You might take a friend with you just to help you. A little wingman to ease the ease the burden, the pain of being around your relatives. Eat way too much food. Yeah, everybody's going to eat way too much. I'm going to try pass not out. to. Pass out. You might drink too much. Yeah, pass out. Might smoke a little well, the weed. Turkey, right. Yeah, get the turkey high. That chip to fan. Yeah. That'll do it so, every yeah. time. Knock you out, <laughs> man. So, yeah, everybody in North America, please. I mean, not North America. In the United States, have a happy Thanksgiving. And for you Brits, you can be thankful that we left. 
That will be your Thanksgiving. <clears throat> and as always, be excellent to each other. And we'll see you. <laughs> On the flip side. All right. Peace out, y'all. Thank you. Yes.